Previously, I installed a low flow intake and a bucket intake for the hydraulic ram pump. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build the half inch ram pump and get it installed. So let's head into the shop real quick and I'll show you how to build a half inch pump. There are several configurations that a ram pump can be built into, but I prefer the linear model. So your drive pipe water comes in, pops this valve, continues straight, yeah, pressure tank will be up here, and then out the delivery pipe. Um, there may be some efficiency differences with uh, this model versus the other. I don't know. I like this one because uh, it ships well and it's a very simple to build design. Uh, it's hard to mess this up. So this is the pump I'm going to be using today for my install, but I want to show you how I build this with all new components. These are the components required to build the half inch ram pump that I sell at landhouse.com. First of all, let's start off with two threaded T's, eight half inch PVC pipe nipples, I have a spring inline valve threaded, two threaded ball valves, two threaded unions, and then a brass lead-free swing check valve. And that comp uh, completes the components for the pump itself. And for the pressure tank, I have a coupling that is two inch, a two inch cap, a two inch to half inch bushing. The threaded end is down here, and then it's slip up top. A piece of PVC pipe that is two inch, and 15 inches long. That's about the minimum length that I would go with for the pressure tank size. To fill this, to prevent water logging, I have a bike tube, and this one is a 12 inch kid's bike tire. To begin the assembly, I'm gonna start from the drive pipe end and move forward. I'm gonna take a ball valve, put in a pipe nipple, and then do a union. I like to put the end with the removable piece towards the rest of the pump, but it doesn't really matter. From there, I'm gonna do another threaded pipe nipple, and then a threaded T. From there, I'm going to install the inline PVC check valve. Now on these, there's going to be a little arrow right here that indicates flow. The flow needs to be facing away from the drive pipe. So screw that on there. From there, I'm gonna do another pipe nipple, another T. From there, another pipe nipple. the second PVC union. And then from there, another pipe nipple with the last ball valve. Now you notice that the pump at this point is basically symmetrical. There's no reduction in delivery pipe from the drive pipe, but the inline check valve is going in that direction, which means this side has got to have the lead-free brass valve. Now when I ship these pumps out, I leave this foam in the top here. It kind of prevents clanging around during shipment. But you just remove that. So get that attached here. Whoops. Okay. Now there is one last PVC pipe nipple, and that's going to go here for the pressure tank. Now, to assemble the pressure tank, I first like to insert the inner tube into the tank here. Now, the pump will operate without a bike tube installed, but over the course of days, weeks, whatever it may take, this will eventually fill with water and the efficiency will be greatly reduced and if you have a bladder like this inside of the tank 
it will definitely keep that water from filling this. So, I just like to put enough air in this tank, in this tube, that when water goes in there, it can still keep this pressurized, but not reduce the amount of space inside the tank. So, right there is enough. So, it's definitely not totally inflated, but it is enough that it will help to build pressure in there. Once the inner tube is installed, I use some PVC cement, and I'm gonna use this on, let's do the coupling first. So, inside here, and then on the outside of the bushing, and then slide those together, and that will make a great seal. Next, I'm gonna do the inside of this, and outside of this and push those together you can give it a little spin if you have time and that will really get that cement to lock in there and the last thing is to get the cap on get that done get that all right, and the pressure tank is now complete. Once the pump is to this point right here, I use a couple of channel locks to tighten things down. And see, I can ship it like this, and it works out very well. So when it arrives, you just plop that up there, and it is good to go. Now, for this uh, install, I'm gonna be using the pump that I already had out in the creek, and I'm gonna go ahead and use this pressure tank because uh, this is the pump I was using with my clear tank to see uh, snifter valve research. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and attach this new pressure tank to the old pump here. Get that nice and tight. And we will head back out to the creek and get this thing installed. Now that you know how to build a half inch ram pump, it's time to get it installed to the bucket intake. So let's get started. The drive pipe that I'm going to use is simply just a piece of this half inch black poly pipe. You can usually find this at a hardware store. I believe even Lowe's and Home Depot carries it. I'm just gonna get this attached here onto the bucket using this adapter here. And it's that simple. One good thing about using the bucket intake is we now know that there is no air entering into this piece. So now it's time to go to the other end and get the pump installed. This poly pipe is 50 foot long and it's gonna have a head pressure of approximately seven foot here. So I'm gonna get this attached in here. Yeah, all right. Now, because the uh, pipe was pulling air through, I need to find a stick and just open up this valve, let some of the air flow out of that drive pipe. And once the air is out, the pump will then be able to cycle on its own. This is exactly what I was hoping to see with this pump install. See the surge effect that's happening out of the top of the bucket? Every time the pump cycles, it's pulling water out through the drive pipe, but our low flow intake is still supplying enough water that it is replenishing the bucket every time that cycle happens. So it is working very well. You may have heard that the more rigid the drive pipe, the higher the efficiency of the pump. Let me see if you can see this here, but with every cycle of the pump, the drive pipe will jump. And so that's actually a loss of potential. And so what I like to do is, if you're gonna use this poly pipe, put something heavy over the pipe, such as rocks, or uh, you can even use uh, plumber's tape, the metal plumber's tape, and stake this into the ground if you don't have the rocks available. But as you can see, 
the half inch pump is hammering away quite strong. So now it's time to connect the delivery pipe. Let me walk you through the setup as it is so far. So we're gonna go from the bottom to the top. Here is the ram pump, half inch, and it is just clicking away. It's got a 50 foot poly pipe drive pipe. A little inefficiency with this curve here, and it's definitely jumping around uh, without any kind of support here on these long stretches. You can really see it jumping here. I've got a couple of rocks on it as it goes up this way. I'm assuming that the drop is somewhere around seven foot. Comes up here to the bucket intake, which as you can see is passing more than enough water. Then the supply line is also half inch and it is running up this way to the low flow intake that was installed. And as you can see, that is doing very well. Very little debris getting in there and it is passing plenty of water with minimal dig into the creek. That concludes the build and install of the hydraulic ram pump. In the next video, I'm going to be installing the delivery pipe to take the water uphill. And I'm also going to install not one, but two inline check valves to see if that can reduce the pressure on the pump and bring water even further uphill. So definitely stay tuned for that video. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you'd like to purchase a hydraulic ram pump, I have four different sizes for sale at landahouse.com. Thanks for watching. Bye. Do you want to pump creek water for livestock or a garden? Check out the Ram Pump. This amazing water pump requires no fuel and no electricity to work. Installation is quite simple. Just place the pump in the creek, run a drive pipe to bring water to the pump, and install a delivery pipe to take water uphill. To start the pump, simply push this check valve down and it will begin on its own, running seven days a week, 365 days a year. To learn more about the Ram Pump, go to my website, landtohouse.com. I have four different size models for sale and lots of information.